एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू आवर एज यूर एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर सीरीज आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू हाउ वी कैन मैनेज द एक्टिव एक्टिव यूजर्स एंड ग्रुप In previous class, we discussed about RBAC, means role-based access control. By using role-based access control, we are able to control our users and resources. So let me explain you each and every points related to Azure Active Directory users and group. As we know that this 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 is our content, right? We will discuss about introduction, about user account creation, how to manage the user accounts properties. we we'll try to understand about bulk user operations create group account and we'll also discuss about administrative unit rules and about how to add our users to a particular group so these all are the topics that we need to discuss in this particular class so let me guide you about the concept because if you really want to be a azure administrator you must need to know about the concept of theory and also you need to know about the procedure to establish our services over azure portal right for example this is our azure portal right whenever we proceed and purchase any subscription it may be free trial pay as you go or azure passes azure will provide one option called azure ad with the help of azure ad we are able to manage multiple services like first users right we are able to configure groups and third one is related to multiple roles are available right and we have active directory licenses and administrative units so these all are the options which is available on azure portal as a admin it's our responsibility how we can manage it so let me show you the procedure to control and manage the azure active directory users open portal.azure.com and log in with your own credential user id and password and make sure you have a at least one subscription because you know that without subscription we are unable to perform any task more services and under the more services we just need to find active directory select security and it will redirect you on page of active directory just need to click here and now this is the panel of active directory we have user group external identity role and administrator and administrative units so we will discuss each and every points but first of all let me create one user to manage the user account over azure portal we have a various method or we have a various way to create our active directory user over azure portal the first one is create new user just need to click here we are able to find two option one is create new user and another is external user invite external user not create external user the meaning of invite external user it's correlated to the guest account if you want to coordinate or collaborate between uh, two different organization and you want to distribute our resources to each other that time the guest user account can help us because the guest user account work just like a temporary user if you want to create your user for temporary basis like 10 days 15 days one month that time the external users can help us i'm going to create new user and uh, after that we'll move ourselves to the group management select your username like i'm going to create one user with name of aws this is our domain cloud kaksa.in aws is first name and display name as well let me select my own password this is temporary password you must need to reset on first login that's why i'm going to proceed with my own password and click create we successfully created one user in our azure active directory let me reset the password open incognito wizard and again type portal.azure.com try to log in your portal using aws at cloudkaksa.in the username that you created that just created from our active directory panel let me refresh the page aws@cloudkaksa.in click next 
provide your temporary password as we discussed it's a temporary password and you must need to change on first login cloud at one two three provide password means the permanent password you can say that yes and sign in so with the help of active directory user as we discussed before by using single active directory user account we are able to manage multiple different platforms office 365 panel microsoft intune services and another azure services as well we successfully log in through the aws second actually in this class i'm planning to guide you the usage of groups i'm just going to click here we have a group option select and create one group you can select any name like uh, as per the name suggests the meaning of group is correlated to the container you can say that i'm going to type a group like as uh, azure training group any name it's a uh, fully depend upon you azure training group make sure the group is a part of security we have a two different option like as a owner if you want to assign this particular group for any particular user means user able to handle the entire services which is available in our group so you need to assign the owners and second option is related to the members the meaning of members the active directory that you created in our azure ad so we just created one user with name of aws and gcp user is also available and let me add one more user telnet so we successfully added three different user account in our uh, group the group name is azure training hyphen group and add it create single group contain three different types of active directory users now let's talk about usage why it is important so basically the usage of our group you can assign multiple uh, licenses or you want to assign the rules so you just need to assign to the group it will be redirect to the entire users our group is ready to use so let me assign the licenses for particular group and they the same licenses will be applicable for entire users in our case the group that we created it's azure training hyphen group let me show you the groups and uh, the members which is available in group this is search panel type azure training this is the group that we created open it select members under the members we are able to find aws gcp and telnet what i'm going to do i'm going to assign the license to the group the same license will be applicable for the entire members select licenses and go to the assignments we have a multiple licenses like azure active directory enterprise mobility and uh, security e5 and office 365 I'm going to assign enterprise mobility select all the product and click save the license applicable for the group right we assign the license to our group but the members which is available in this particular group they all are able to access the same license I'm going to show you how it look like open your users properties and under the user let me select any like aws user account go to the license and it may be take time just need to refresh the page and you will find the license which is applic ap applicable for our users as well because whenever we assign any license to group our users it may be take 5 to 7 minutes we are able to find enterprise license for telnet verify with gcp users as well same license applicable for our user 
So it means that if you want to configure the licenses for entire user, the best way create a group and assign entire add the member of our active active user and assign the license or role that you want. I hope you all of you understand about the concept of active active user and groups. Uh, if you have any question, please drop a comment. Thank you guys and we'll connect soon with another video. Stay tuned with Teach Me Cloud. Thank you guys.